Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about concurrency control in iOS. Concurrency refers to executing multiple tasks at the same time in your application. Concurrency can be achieved using dispatch queues. Dispatch queues. Dispatch queues are an easy way of executing tasks asynchronously and concurrently in your application. Dispatch queues are of two types. First, serial queues. They execute one task at a time. That is, they execute task one by one. Concurrent queues. They allow you to execute multiple tasks at the same time. Some of the functions that are used to create or get our queues are Dispatch queue create. This is used to create a serial or a concurrent queue. Dispatch queue get label. This is used to get the label of our queue. Dispatch get main queue. This is used to get the only main queue in our application. Dispatch get global queue to get one of the global queues. Now we will see a very basic example of using concurrency in our application. To use concurrency in our application, first I will show a very basic example of this. So in this for loop we are printing this character 10 times from 0 to 1. This will be printed 10 times. Then we are printing the value of 5 from 10 to 20. That is 10 to 20. So you can see this is printed from 10 to 20. So this is a very basic example of a normal code executing. Now if you want to make use of concurrency in this then first we will have to declare a variable. Let we are declaring a constant dispatch queue equals to dispatch Q and we'll give it a label as test. So after this, now we will see two examples. First of using dispatch queue synchronously. For that we'll write the name of our queue dispatch queue dot sync and inside this we'll write our first for loop so you will see that again it is printing the same value there is no difference between synchronous and without using queues so if we don't want to use queues and we are using a synchronous function the thing is same but the difference comes when we use a synchronous method so now we'll type asynchronous instead of synchronous so the shorthand for asynchronous is async a s y n c so now dispatch queue dot is sync so now you can see that the, both the for loops are executing randomly that is first it is printing the character then it is printing the first value of second for loop that is 10 after that again it is printing the character then it is printing 11 then it is printing 12 after that it is printing 13 14 15 at once then again it is printing one character so this is the difference between using synchronous and asynchronous queues. This is all we will do with concurrency control. Thank you.